Your Bitcoin and Litecoin daily update is Bitcoin about to break out. What's up, guys? Crypto Savvy here. I hope everybody's having a fabulous Friday. We're going to take a look at the chart, starting out with Litecoin, moving on to Bitcoin. Then we're going to take a look at my favorite chart comparison, the Bitcoin daily chart versus the gold weekly chart, and show you why I believe we're still on our way to 46,000 by the end of the year. So definitely stick around to the end to check it out. Chart's getting interesting, guys. Also, I did a video with Crypto Zombie. He was nice enough to have me on his channel. Great guy. I'll leave a link to that above. Check it out. It's a good video. Um, also, I want to remind you guys I have a free Discord group. It's in the description. Link below the video. There's also some affiliate links in there. Definitely uh, check those out. If you can use them, great. That helps the channel out. There's some uh, exchange links in there that got bonuses applied if you make a deposit. Also, Ledger link down there. Keep your crypto safe. Get them off the exchanges. Brave browser. Check it out. Great browser. And with that being said, let's get on with the video. See what's going on in the charts. All right, guys, as always, we're going to start out by saying I'm not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. This is my opinion and my view of the market only. Anybody that's doing any trading or investing in this market, I suggest you do your own due diligence and your own research as this market is extremely volatile and risky. Also, keep in mind, it's still a speculative market. Don't put in more than you're willing to lose. And with that being said, if you're new here, or you haven't already, definitely hit the subscribe button. Get you subscribed to the channel. Tick the notification bell to get you notified when I post new videos. Smash the likes. Leave your comments. Let me know what you think. I love reading your guys' comments and seeing what your thoughts are on the market. All right, let's get into it. Looking at uh, Litecoin on the weekly, we've been watching this hidden bullish divergence, which is higher lows in the price action, lower lows in the RSI. Hidden, bull hidden bullish divergence. So it's looking good, guys. Also, I want to point out something. On this falling wedge here, a falling wedge's target is usually up towards the top of it um so I'm definitely looking at higher highs here and we'll we'll take a look at all that here in a second but let's get into the daily and we'll get, we'll look at the daily price action first actually you know what yeah all right so as you can see i have a target of 120 or 271 up here and i'm going to show you how i got that target and that's looking at this as a big cup and a handle forming here, which I still believe is happening, guys, with a neckline at 144. And if we were to break that, I'm looking at the target of the 271 range. Still definitely my target there, guys. Let's get into the RSI. This is the daily RSI on Litecoin. We were following this rising channel, which we fell out of in a falling channel here. Now what we've been watching here is we had this falling broadening wedge here and we broke out came down i had this trend line here obviously we've broke down below that i'm going to get that out of there but i did say it was a possibility we come down and test the top of this falling wedge first which i believe that's what's happening now we're going to go into the four hour rsi and then we'll go into the more immediate price action all right so Looking at what's going on here, if you guys have been following along, um, you'll remember we've been watching this falling channel for since way back in April when we had our big move. And we've had a lot of falling channels in there and breakouts. If you guys are wondering what this all is, just go back to the previous videos, go through it. You'll learn a lot from it. Just check it out. But as of right now, we're looking at another falling wedge right here. And when I make these falling wedges i just clone the line that way they stay even here um rather than just draw them because you can draw them wrong if you just draw them in there so anyways it looks like we are getting support here we may get a bounce up and another bounce down um like i said on the daily it looks like you know we're gonna come down and possibly touch this again there's no guarantees though but we will take a look at the bearish and the bullish case scenario in the price action. I'm going to do that now. All right, so here's the shorter term prices. And like I said, we'll take a look at the bearish case first. If you notice this blue trend line here, this is the one I think will hold if we even get back down to it. As you can see, um, 
it's looking like Litecoin's trying to bounce here. I still believe it's possible we come down to this $83 range and retest this trend line. If that breaks, uh, the bearish case scenario, my target's around the $62 range. That would also be old resistance back here. And the reason I have that there is this is the long-term trend line from when we hit bottom in December. So that's the bearish case scenario. And the longer we go, guys, the more this moves up as that trend line moves up. But that is my worst case. Um, I'm not steering towards that. I'm still steering towards a bullish case scenario. And I'm going to show you the targets for that now and how I got them. So if you look at this top yellow trend line and then this blue line here, it looks like a ascending triangle. And if we take a measured move just of the width of the triangle right here with the longest touches and put it up to the top, that gets me to the 137. Once we break this line, that's my target up there. And the other target I have is looking at this as a falling broadening wedge or descending broadening wedge. And just looking at if it broke out here around the 98 or the $100 ranges, which I, where I believe it's going to break if it breaks. And the measured move off that would be the whole width of the broadening wedge where it breaks. If it breaks around that $100 range, we're looking at a target, actually, move it up a little bit, right around the 172 range, which is confluent with over here we had resistance. So that is where I believe we'll be headed <clears throat> at the break of 100. First target would be 137 range. Next target would be 172. Now, when I put these targets in here, usually those are heavy resistance, and we... We break this we may come back down test this trend line again before continuing up so that's where i'm at with litecoin guys let's move on to bitcoin and same thing in bitcoin we we're watching the hidden bullish divergence which is higher lows in the rsi or higher lows in the price action lower lows in the rsi also i want to take a look at this bull flag right here that i believe we're forming and i'll go down to the smaller time frames and we'll look at more um, intermediate targets but looking at this as a flagpole of when this ascending triangle broke here we measure this flagpole put it up to the top of the flag if we were to break out and if we do break up out of this my longer term target is twenty one thousand to twenty two thousand dollar range which would obviously break the old high um let's look i want to show you something in the rsi real quick also get rid of this and looking at the weekly RSI, we've been watching this and it's this is playing out nicely. You look at this area right here, then we look over at this area. You can see the resemblance. This is back in 2015, 2015, 2016. And if you look at it and look at the resemblance, we look like we're in the same exact area now. And what happened there was, you know, something like this. And, of course, guys, it's not going to play out exactly, but we could be looking at something like this. We could be looking at another, you know, two year bull run. Um, so keep an eye on that. Let me get this stuff off of here. And we will move on to the daily. All right. Looking at the daily RSI, I wanted to point this out. Um, this is extremely interesting. First, I will show you my higher targets for the daily. Um, so on the daily, looking at this as a bull flag, measuring it, if we did a measurement as this is a falling channel, we would take a measured move of the width of the channel up to where we break out. And if we break out in this area, my target is around 16,000. It's actually around 16,300. And then if we did a measured move of this being a flag pull, this being the flag, <coughs> excuse me, um, this would get us up to the 18.5 range. So I am looking at those targets, guys, and, and I do believe this is going to break. Obviously, it's not confirmed until it breaks, but, but in my opinion, I believe this is going to break, and we're headed up, guys. Um, possibly pretty soon, maybe this weekend, we break this and continue up. Possibly today, but I do see this breaking, and I do see these higher higher highs also i want to point out this 
thick trend line I have in here, the thick white one from these resistance points to where we broke through. I do believe that was the confirmation of a bull market. It was the break of the old resistance back here. And we came back down, tested it three times in here on the daily chart, and then again over here. Um, if we were to come down, I don't see this breaking at all. And that's right around the $90, $96 range. Um, but we'll take a look at both the bearish and the bullish case scenario. But first, I want to look at the RSI. Show you something interesting in here. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. Got a scratchy throat for some reason. But So we were looking at this rising wedge, that we, a rising channel that we fell out of. And notice the formations in here. And I'm going to show you guys real quick. Um, actually, let me move this over. There we go. All right. So looking at what's going on here and you'll, you'll see a, you'll see a formation. I'll draw it out for you. Looks like inverse head and shoulders here. And another inverse head and shoulders that makes a lower low. Then another inverse head and shoulders making a, another lower low. And I do believe this is what we're looking at coming next. And I'm going to show you in the price action. Whoops. Let me show you in the price action what happened at each one of those peaks. Um, if you're following the channel, this helped us get the top of the peaks. Like this one, we were calling 13.6. I think we hit 13.8. But as you can see, each time it hits hit one of these highs, it was a it was a high in the run. Let me. And then, you know, then it, as it came down, the, the RSI reset, or as it went up, the RSI reset while we got sides, sideways motion, and then we got our next bounce up. This helped us to determine our high in that one. And then, again, RSI reset while price action went up. Then our next high was that 13.8 range. Hit that trend line on top. That's what I'm saying. I believe we're... we're this daily RSI is going to head around turn up and that's going to get our, our next high, which I believe is going to be either between 16,300 and 18,500. Um, it's looking, it's, it's looking perfect guys. So I do believe, like I said, that we are going to break up from here. We'll take a look at both the bearish and the bullish case scenario. I do want to go into the four hour RSI now, and then we'll go into the more immediate price action. All right. So the more immediate price action, what we're looking at here is a falling wedge. Um, I do believe we are going to get a pop up here pretty quick. Um, we could come back down. Like I said, bearish case scenario, we will take a look at that. Um, let's take a look at the price action. See what's going on with that. All right, so you can see I have this rising channel drawn here. Um, and I have a split in the middle where it was real tight right here, broadened up. And I do have this. If you watch the zombie video yesterday, I had this trend line, um, this top one down here, and I did think we broke out here last night. But after, obviously, after the price action, I do still have this triangle here. It would be invalidated if it broke the 11,550 range. Possibly, yeah, 11,550 range. But like I said, I do see us breaking up from here, guys. Um, Let's take a look at the bearish case scenario first. Bearish case scenario, we still have a possibility of touching this 11.4, and I'll, I'll show you why. It's because of this Adam and Eve formation, this would be the neckline around the 11,000, 11,050 range. So we could come back down, test that before continuing up. So a lot of times, a breakout of these necklines does come back down to retest it. So keep that in mind if it does. If you look at this wick here, um, a lot of people probably entered longs after this and put their stops right under that. So if it did come down to this 11,000, 11,050, that'd be what I would consider a stop hunt where they would liquidate all them longs and then shoot the price back up. That's just how the market works, guys. Um, but in the bearish case, if this did break, my next line of support would be the 200 EMA, which would be around the 11th or 10,600, 10,700, depending on where we hit. Um, after that, if that was to break, we, I'd be looking at right around the $9,800 range. And if that was to break, and I'll show you why I got those in there. 
I don't know what this line is. Let me get that out of there. Um, yeah, so if that was to break, I would be looking at the $9,500 range. And if that was to break, ultimately, the 8500 that everybody was talking about, it is possible, which is this trend line here. Um, but like I said, I'm bullish here, guys. I do believe we are going to break up. I, I feel pretty confident in that. And again, you know, I could be wrong, but let's look at the other measured moves here. Now, this one here, uh, get this stuff out of here. So, the measured move of the breakout of this Adam and Eve we had formed here, the measured move of that is where I get that 12,980, actually 13,000 um, dollar target. So, I definitely believe we're at least heading to that, guys. And I have a measured move of this triangle here. A breakout of that would get us up to right around the 13.2. And that being, that would be the top of this channel. And if we were to hit that, that would be today's the 9th. That would be sometime tomorrow or overnight tonight. Um, it, that's definitely a good possibility. There is also another measured move in there. So either way, because people watch these that are trading, these are going to be resistance areas. So keep that in mind. It doesn't mean that we crash back down. But a lot of times when we break out of these bull flags, we will come up and then come back down, test the top of the flag before, you know, starting the major move up. Um, the other way to measure, the other measure move I have in here is measuring this whole move as a flag pull, this being a flag. And a break of that would get us up to... The 15 one, 15,000, right around the $15,000 range. I'm going to go ahead and put that target in there. Definitely a possibility. I'm sure we will see some resistance there and get a small retracement. Uh, depending on where we hit it, we may come back down, test the top of this channel, and then continue on up. Because like I said, 16,000, the 16.3 and... 18.5 are my targets that we could possibly hit this weekend, guys. I would say we hit it at least, if we break out of this flag, we hit at least the 15,000. Um, but I'm looking more towards the 16,000. Let me move that down. Yeah, around the 16,300 range. Yeah, that's where I'm at. Um, I definitely am bullish as hell here, guys. I really think this could possibly break. Let's look at the Bitcoin daily. This is my end of the year target, 46,000, and I'll show you why here in a minute. Take a good look at this formation here. Um, this was our all-time high, 2017. I drew this dotted line down to the 6,000 range where we broke out and across, and then the second, I have this solid yellow line from the second peak here from where we broke down and across. And once we broke through, I believe that's when the, the bull run or the trend change actually happen. I also have this blue line drawn in here. This is old resist or old support in the bear market. I have another white trend line here, which is old support in the bull market or bear market. And you can see we're trudging around this line now. I don't believe we'll ever go below this line again. And I'll show you why here in a minute. I also have this blue line in here. And I also have these same lines drawn out in the gold chart that I'm going to switch over to next. And you can you can see the resemblance. And I believe a pattern is a pattern. And patterns play out. No matter what time frame you're in, you can look at a triangle in a five-minute time frame and look at a triangle in a two-day time frame. And they're both 80% chance they both play out the same. So keep that in mind. And I also have this top trend line drawn from these two peaks. And you'll, you'll notice that also in the um, gold weekly chart. Also, I wanna point out that right here, our volume is declining. And that happens when we're in a formation. And once that formation breaks, our, our volume is gonna climb tremendously. If we break up, it, it's gonna be a huge move here, guys. So let's, I'm gonna, switch over to the gold weekly chart i'm gonna switch back and forth you guys can check out the resemblance for yourself and you'll see why i have the forty-six thousand end of the year target also keep an eye on the blue line 
and I want to point something out about this blue line. I was on a live stream the other day and someone pointed out this could be a cup and a handle. Then that's a definite possibility. And the measured move off that would be measuring, you know, the cup here to the neckline and the breakout of the handle, which gets us to that blue line, which is also in the gold chart. I don't know that it's going to play out exactly, guys. It's, obviously, it's not going to play out candle for candle. But if you see what happened in a gold chart, it went up there, came back down, retested the white line, and back up. Could that happen here? Very possible. Um, this might be a huge correction. What would that be? Just out of curiosity. I, and again, there's nothing saying that has to happen, but that would be a 43% correction. So, you know, and these lines aren't going to be exact, guys. But the, the whole idea is, you know, this is a, a hell of a roadmap we're looking at here. Um, I think we're we're blessed to be watching it and following it. But you can see we we played with this white trend line just like we're playing with it here. And once we broke above it with conviction, we, we never broke below it again. That's why I'm saying I don't think we'll break below it again. And let's take a look at where that line is. Um, if we were to go straight down, directly down today, that line would be around the 10,000 it'd be right at the 11,050 range imagine that so I don't think we're ever going to see below 11,050 again I could be totally wrong I'm not guaranteeing this for anybody but man this is uh this is looking good guys all right now let's go into the RSI we've been watching this whole thing form since January which was right over here so I have these two trend lines drawn in the in the weekly RSI. I had already showed you the the resemblance of this area and this area. But this is the 2013 bull run followed by the bear market. We had two touches of resistance on this trend line before starting the bull market. 2017 bull market followed by the bear market. Two touches of resistance before starting the bull market. Amazing. Oh, look at the monthly. Now in the monthly here, I have these two arcs drawn in here. This is the 2013 bull run, 2017 bull run. 2013 bull run followed by the bear market, each arrow representing a new low in the RSI, as you can see there. There's four of them, and then the bull market. 2017 bull market followed by the bear market. Four arrows representing new lows in the RSI. And shooting up from there. Difference is, this one may be quicker, guys, but... Yeah, if you enjoyed the video, definitely uh, click the Crypto Savvy logo above my head. That'll get you subscribed. Tick notification bell to get you notified when I post videos as I do post every day. And a couple times a week, I do do live streams, so it'll notify you when I go live. Also, smash the likes, leave your comments, let me know what you think. Appreciate you guys stopping by, and I will see you later.